Hello folks. Well, we've been gone for a little while again, but uh, it was no, it was out of my control. The uh, my six month checkup with the dermatologist turned up to be not the greatest. Uh, but anyway, it wasn't anything uh, super bad. But it was it required. I went. I had to do five treatments, and the treatments involved taking liquid nitrogen and freezing my bottom lip, and then you waited for it to heal for I don't know a couple of weeks or whatever it was, and then you went back and they did it again, and they kind of do the lower and then the upper, then the middle. Uh, anyway, it, it ended up being five treatments, and uh, the bad part about it, besides the pain, hurt like the dickens, uh, but the other part of it was you had to stay out of the sun. So that's why we haven't been doing videos for a while. But anyway, we're finished up with that, and uh, we got out on the water again, finally. Oh man, it was good too. The weather was... <laughs> It was it was cloudy and it was had a good wind and but it was it rained off and on and that rain was cold but uh, we managed through it and we spent the first half of the morning looking for redfish and uh, man I searched high and low and they just weren't there I don't know uh, I don't know the exact reason why it hasn't been that cold but. Uh, they had decided uh, to go elsewhere and uh, there was hard, there was no bait that was kind of strange too because usually as soon as the water warms up a little bit the bait comes back in but anyway i abandoned the uh, the redfish search and decided to concentrate on trout and uh, luckily found some some real nice trout and uh, we got all of them on the uh, the uh, super model uh, down south super model, and I think this is uh, I think it's Texas Roach. I'm not sure. They got a bunch of weird names, but it's kind of a dark back, silver belly, chartreuse tail, and we were throwing that on a eighth ounce Strike King jig head. And we're throwing it in the sand and bouncing it off the bottom because the trout were there were some trout there and some nice ones but they weren't uh, they weren't going to come up and get anything off the top or anything that was moving real fast uh, they were kind of socked into those sand pockets and uh, that's where every one of them came off the sand i never got one off the grass but uh it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good trip. Had some, had some nice fish. I was real satisfied with it after being gone for so long. Uh, we were throwing it on the uh, Daiwa uh, SV and a uh, 76 uh, Mojo Yak medium heavy rod, and uh, that was it. So. Thank you all for watching and sorry about the delay, but we should be back getting on some kind of semi-regular schedule now. And thanks for watching. sign of life I've seen out here. I've covered quite a bit of ground. Hopefully this area here will hold some better ones.
There he is. Ooh, it feels like a better one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> There's a better one. More like what we're looking for and bigger. Have a good day, my friend. There he is. Oh, what's a good one? That's a good one. Ooh, Mandy. Come here. Come talk to Daddy. Mm. There's a nice one. Speckledy trap. Have a good day. Got him. There's a boat coming though. Be careful here. Uh oh. That's a good one too. Still. Oh. There. Nice trout. I'd take them all day long. Got him. Uh, maybe it feels like a decent one. It is. <clears throat> nice one. <clears throat> There he is. Mm. Uh, uh. Nice. That ain't bad. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Appreciate it. There he is. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, it's a big old trap. That is a gorilla. 
Come on, buddy. Lordy. <clears throat> Thank you. Ooh-wee. That is a gorilla. That is a gorilla. Wow. That is a stud right there, boys and girls. Wow, that's a nice fish. Uh, baby, thank you. Appreciate it. Little, uh, just a hair under six pounds. About five and three quarters. 